Today we're going to review and update the status of China's Tiagong space stations. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, where we keep you up to date on what is happening in space exploration. The International Space Station was conceived as a habitable, multinational, collaborative, modular space station which would operate continuously in a low Earth orbit. International Space Station took 10 years and more than 30 missions to complete its assembly. The International Space Station was created in the 1990s when five entities agreed to work together to create it. NASA, the ESA, European Space Agency, Roscosmos, Russia, JAXA, which is Japan, and the CSA, Canada, representing a total of about 15 countries. China was not invited to join this group because the founders felt the Chinese had no technology to add to the project. Subsequently, China set out its own aggressive plan to develop its own space station, and successful and aggressive it has been. As part of its plan, China launched the Tiagong-1 space station back in 2011. Tiagong, or Heavenly Palace, was the name chosen for China's space station. The Tiagong-1 was planned for two years of operational life and projected to deorbit in 2013. However, China lost communications control of the space station and it did not deorbit until 2018 when it re-entered the Earth atmosphere over the southern Pacific Ocean in an area called Point Nemo. Tiagong-2 was launched in 2016 and deorbited as planned in 2019. Both Tiagong-1 and 2 were only in orbit for a couple of years and were crewed for only short periods of time. China announced that both missions fulfilled their objectives and were completed successfully, setting the stage for Tiagong-3. The Shenzhou module was used to transport Takanauts, they are Chinese astronauts, to and from the Tiagong space stations. The name Shenzhou means divine vessel. One of the first Shenzhou missions to Tiagong-1 included the first female Taikonauts. A little over a year ago, China launched the first module of the Tiagong-3 space station in low Earth orbit, which was named T&E, or Harmony of the Heavens. The plan for Tiagong-3 space station is to be crewed at all times and operational at least 10 years. Soon after launching the Tiagong-3's first module, the t and he to orbit, a cargo supply ship module, the t and heavenly ship, was launched with equipment and supplies for the t and he About a month later, the Shenzhou module with three astronauts aboard was launched and docked successfully with t and he Recently, the Wenxian lab module was launched and docked successfully with the T&He core module. Here's a video clip of the Wenxi lab module being moved to the launch pad prior to liftoff. Today, another mission for China Space Station's construction has been unveiled. That right there is a long Mod 5B carrier rocket with Wen Tian, one of the two lab modules on top of that. Last April, the heavy lift carrier sent the core module of China's space station into low Earth orbit. Its reappearance draws huge attention. We have just finished the all-round tests in the technical zone. Now the rocket is sent to the launch area and there will be a function check before refueling to finally confirm the parameters in all systems are normal. The biggest challenge for the mission is getting the heavy lift carrier rocket ready in time. Otherwise, the mission will be delayed until the next launch window. In the day of the launch, we must make sure to ignite in less than three minutes. So we have made full preparations in our organization and command, our planning and arrangement, our reserve of personnel and materials, and our quick response plan. Hundreds of people came to witness the rocket being transported to the launch pad. 
这个火箭。Our rocket is really big. It has complicated systems and requires very high reliability. So it went through a full test over a long period. We're so excited today to see it moving to the launch pad. Um, so I, I feel so excited to see our rocket finally going the distance, and I truly want to wish a full success for the mission. It certainly will be a success. In the coming days, tests will be conducted to prepare for lift off later this month. Those tests will make sure the lab module can carry the experiment cabinet. And dock with the space station before the Shenzhou 14 mission crew enter it. In addition to being a lab module, the Wenishan module contains living sleeping accommodations for an additional three taikonauts. Thus, allowing the Tiangon Three space station to host up to six taikonauts at any one time. Thus far, eight missions have been attributed to the Tiangon space station. Three additional launches are planned for this year, including the Mengxian lab module. The other two launches are going to be the Tianzhu Five, which will have three astronauts, taikonauts, and Shenzhou Fifteen cargo module. Which will have supplies and equipment. The Tiangong Three space station has been a very successful program. Well, that ends our update on China's Tiangong space station. We will continue to provide update on the progress that China makes completing its Tiangong space station. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button as well as the subscribe and notification buttons to receive an email. Every time reaching for the moon, posts a new video. Thank you for watching, and remember always: failure is not an option. Bye.